In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this typography animation. It's very easy to create and you can use it with any kind of text. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this one main. With the night will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate you can set 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now we are going to add our text so for that you can select the text tool and just click and type whatever you want you can pick whatever font you want but bold fonts look much better with this type of example so let's align it to the center in case you are not able to see the align panel go to windows and just enable it let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can select this hold on the control key and double click on this perfect so here we have our text now let's quickly change its color so i'm going to search for fill and let's drag this onto this now it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever colors you want i'm going to pick this one now let's create our background so for that right click new let's add a solid and i'm going to make this one a little bit of dark blue sort of like this perfect let's place it over here now i'm going to select this and let's scale this down so here we have our text now let's start animating it first i'm going to add a little bit of skew to this so that we have this text little bit tilted so in order to do that just go inside the text and go to animate and from here just enable this skew after that you can change the skew so i'm going to set this to six now it's completely up to you can pick the axis whatever you want so once you're done with this i'm going to select this let's press r and i'm going to set the rotation to something like negative six so that we have this sort of text now once you're done with this we are ready to animate this so in order to do that we are going to again go inside and this time we are going to animate its position first so let's select the position now in order to do that we are going to open the range selector now it's completely up to you, you can make your text come from whatever direction you want it can be left right whatever you want so for this one i'm going to make it to come from the right side so for that just select this position and i'm going to just move it to the right side until it's completely out of this frame something like that now in order to animate it we are going to add a keyframe for the offset and i'm going to set this to negative 100 and let's go to somewhere around one and a half second and i'm going to just set this back to 100 so that we have this sort of animation now we can tweak this further so let's go under advanced and over here change the shape from square to ramp up now you have this sort of animation and we have the text coming in you can also play around with the ease high and ease low i'm going to set this to 100 so that we have this sort of animation perfect now before we proceed if you want to support my channel then you can check out my patreon page over there you will find all the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon your contribution helps me to create these kind of tutorials so if you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page link for that is in the description so let's continue so here we have our text now i want this to have little bit of stop motion kind of vibe so now to do that we can apply a effect so let's select this let's go under the effects and preset and search for posterize time and let's drag it over here and under the posterize time i'm going to set the frame rate to 12. now if i play back you can see that now it's not that smooth but it's it has more of a stop motion kind of vibe also i want to have a stroke copy of this so in order to do that i'm going to just select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's select the bottom copy and i'm going to hide the top one and let's select this and over here if you go under the characters panel we have this fill so i'm going to just click on this icon so that this is set to none now we have the stroke option so if you click on this stroke color you can see that we have this one now you can just match it with whatever color you have over here so let's pick this one just click on ok now in order to make the stroke visible you can just enable this option now it's completely up to you. you can make the stroke width however you want for this one i'm going to just set this to something like two or maybe we can set this to three perfect so he here we have the stroke only now if i play back you can see we have this stroke now i want the fill to be visible as well so we can make this layer visible but i want the fill to appear later on so for that we can add some animation to the opacity as well so let's select the fill layer and we can go inside this let's go inside the text and let's add another animation property for opacity so let's click on opacity and i'm going to set this to zero let's go inside the range selector and over here we can animate its endpoint so you can see that we have this value so in the beginning we can just add a keyframe for 100 and let's go to this frame where we have this so let's set this to zero here you can see we have these typography coming in 
but i don't want them to come in a particular order i want them to come randomly so for that you can go inside advanced and let's enable the random so here you can see now we have these random characters coming up let's select this i'm going to press u so that we can see the keyframes and i'm going to move these keyframes a little bit closer something like that perfect so here we have our typography animation now i'm going to add more copies of it on top of this so for that i'm going to select this one which is the stroke and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's place this at the bottom now you can hold on the shift key and use the arrow keys to move it up or down wherever you want let's move it down so just place it wherever you want so let's place it over here and let me just quickly change this color to white now you will notice that this is coming from the same side but i want it to come from the opposite side so for that we can just tweak this further so let's select this and open up the text properties and let's select the animator too where we have this range selector and let's open this up and let's go under the advanced so first we are going to change its position so let's place it over here now you can see that its position is set to the right side so i'm going to just change it to the left side so just set this to negative value something like this so we can go to the very beginning and let's just move it outside this frame so if i play back you can see that we have the text coming from the left side but you can see that it's coming up all at once and after that it opens up over here so we can fix that so in order to do that let's go under the advanced settings so from here select the ramp up and i'm going to set this to ramp down so now you can see that we have the text and we can change its animation properties as well so instead of starting from negative 100 i'm going to set this to 100 and let's go to the very end and instead of 100 i'm going to set this to negative 100 so now if i play back you can see that we have the typography text coming in from the left side as well which is exactly what we want so here we have all of these so now we can select this press ctrl d and we can just move it to the top as well now we can select this copy which we have over here for the stroke and let's press ctrl d and i'm going to just move it down because i want it to come from the right side like this let's make it one more down let's select this press ctrl d and let's place this on the top as well perfect now i want the another copy so let's select this press ctrl d and just place it down let's select this press ctrl d and just place this on the top just keep on copying and just on top of each other so here you can see we have this now if i play back you can see we have all of these texts coming from different sites perfect now i want some of these layers to have fill as well so i'm going to select this one and we can just go to the fill and just enable it and i'm going to set this to white i don't want this fill color so let's disable it and also for the stroke i'm going to set this to zero let's do the same thing over here as well let's set this to zero and let's enable the fill let's disable the fill color perfect so here we have this now if i play back you can see we have all of these texts coming in we can add some scaling animation as well so for that right click new let's add a null object let's select all of these layers and just parent them to the null now let's select this press s and in the beginning i'm going to add a keyframe for the scale now let's go somewhere in the middle and I'm going to just increase its value to something like 150 or 160 maybe. Perfect. Now let's go back where we have all the text coming in. And I'm going to set this to 100. Now let's select all the keyframes. Press F9. Let's go to the graph. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the speed graph. Let's select all the keyframes. And let's make the graph to look something like this. Now if I play back, you can see that we have all these text coming in. Perfect. Now we can play around with the timing as well. So you can see we have all these text. So let's place it over here. So once we have everything come up like this, I want all of these text to disappear slowly. So for that, let's pick some point. So somewhere around here. So now we can start making the text disappear. So let's select this one and this copy. And I'm going to press hold on the alt key and press the right square bracket to trim these layers. Now we can move three frames ahead so you can press page down key thrice one two three now we can make these layers disappear so select this and this again hold on the alt key and right square bracket now again press one two three and then select these two again alt and right square bracket and just make them disappear 
So at last we have these two like that. So here you can see we have these copies and after that they start disappearing like that. So once they are disappearing, I want them to scale down a little bit. So I'm going to just set this to something like 80. And maybe at this point, we can just increase its value to something like 110. Now we can select this keyframe as well. Let's go inside and let's play around with the curves as well. Let's set this to like that. So now if I play back, you can see we have this really amazing typography animation. And the best thing is that since we are using animation property, changing text is very easy. Now, if you want to change the text, don't change it on one layer, then copy and paste it onto the others because you will copy the formatting as well and it will mess up with the formatting of other text as well. So instead, if you want to change the text, what you can do, just open up your notepad and over here you can type whatever you want. So let's type motion and nations. After that, you can just copy this text, just copy it. Let's go inside After Effects. Then you can start selecting one by one layers and just paste them by using your Control V shortcut. Just paste them onto all of these layers one by one. This way you are only changing the text, not the formatting like this. So here you can see we have changed all the text. Now, if you want, you can play around with the colors. You can play around with the background as well. You can also import any video behind this however you want. So this is how you can create these kind of typography animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.